So after a few hours of tinkering with this, I have come up with something that is pretty amazing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new conversation with ChatGPT here. We're going to put it on browse with Bing. We are using ChatGPT4. And I'm literally just going to write black tie attire for men right here. And you might just expect it to be like, what the hell are you talking about? But as you can see, what it's actually doing is it's searching that on Bing. And it's now going to store all of the outlines and all of other people's SEO that they've already done. It's going to talk about, you know, all the important points of black tie attire for men. And it's going to give you sources that it got it from. Now, I will show you how this is all working in just a moment. But basically, I am giving you a free SEO plugin for ChatGPT. Kind of think of it like that. I've made my own plugin using custom instructions. Okay. We'll focus on the custom instructions in a second, but I am just going to give you one run through of this entire process. So all you do is you put the custom instructions, which you'll find in the description for free as usual, without any sign up or course or anything like that. And then you can just type in your keyword right here. Okay. So my keyword for this video is black tie attire for men. The first thing it does is it searches it on Google. It stores all of this information. And then it will ask you for your website URL. So let's do that HTTPS to men.it. And now what it's going to hopefully do, and this is the part that took a lot of tinkering, is it's going to go onto your website or your client's website or whoever you are writing for's website. And it will try to find relevant links to internally link in the blog post. So what, I've, what I'm basically trying to do is I'm trying to take the guesswork out of ChatGPT SEO and make it simple for everyone just by using classic uh, custom instructions. So you can see right here, it's now browsed to men.it. It's read to men.it. It has assimilated the information from to men.it. It's now on Cesare Attalini suits, for example. And the nice thing is it looks like they have updated browse by Bing to make it a little bit more in depth, I think there was a limit on the amount that it was allowed to search. I think the limit was one. Now it seems like the limit is much, much higher. And another thing, the thing that I'm showing you in this video actually also works on your phone. I was prompt engineering on my phone earlier, and that's how I actually came up with the idea. So I guess while this is loading, because it seems to want to read all of my pages suddenly, which I've never seen before, but I guess. Let's have a little look at the custom instructions. So basically what I've done is I've just done a one to eight, very simple kind of step-by-step -step process. So the first one is ask for a keyword. You can get keywords from any of my keyword methods or any of your own keyword methods, and then research the keyword and find recurring themes in other people's websites. Number three is ask for my website. Number four is go to the, my website's homepage, find out the context they are trying to promote in their header or the content I should say, and choose 10 relevant in internal links that could be included in an article like this from the website given and no external sources. Then number five is write an outline for this blog post. Also create a key takeaway table, which you'll place in the first one third of the article after the title. The title should also be H1. Never mention H1, H2, H3. Never put learn more as part of the table. Just summarize the information from the article in the tables. And then number six is write the first, third, and then this should be write the second, third of the outline, and then write the final part and the conclusion of the outline. So this is taking a while. Normally it doesn't look through this many pages. So we will just give this a moment. I'm going to pause here. So as we can see here, it's now chosen. 10 internal links. So we have Kiton suits, Cesare Attalini suits, Kiton blazers, Boss suits, Sartorio Napoli blazers, Sartorio Napoli suits, Barber Napoli blazers, general overcoats, and then four season clothing. That's amazing. Honestly, I'm really, really happy with the results there. Oh, this is four suits, uh, four season suits. You can now see it is writing an article and and it is going to be formatted in such a way that it should rank on Google. We're just going to leave this and see what it comes up with. Oh, this is actually the outline. Apologies. So at the end, it said, would you like to proceed with writing the first one third of the outline? Or would you like to make any adjustments? I'm just going to say proceed here. Um, you could also say proceed with the rest of the outline, but I'm just going to say proceed and see what it comes up with. 
So a very common thing I see from people who watch my videos is they don't do everything that I tell them to do. So the idea of this video and this method is to kind of even the, the playing field, okay? So you can't really make a mistake with this because I've given you everything. It will literally do everything for you. So that was kind of the idea behind this video. You can see it does work pretty well. I'm hoping it's going to include some internal links here. Perfect. Discover the ex ex exquisite range of tuxedos from Tresor Etellini. Explore the refined collection of tuxedos from Kiton. None of these actually have tuxedos, but, you know, we won't, we won't tell anyone about that. Um, you can see it's kind of getting confused between suits and tuxedos because we don't actually sell tuxedos on two men. Um, but yeah, we have the first part of our article right here. This would be the introduction. So now let's say continue here. And it should just continue by giving us the second part of the outline. So while that is writing the next part of the outline, what I like to do is I like to press copy here and go to markdown to html.com. And we can basically remove anything that we don't need. So we can remove this. And also what we want to check is it's actually using the correct H uh, things here. So, I mean, I'd rather have H2 than H4 for the introduction. I'm not sure why it gave it an H4. It seems kind of random, to be honest with you. Um, but, I mean, this is minimal editing. You just need to make sure that, um, you know, it's not all messed up with loads of H4s, I guess. I don't know why it would randomly give it H4s, but there we go. And then the constitutors were doing. Yeah, okay, we can leave that as it is. Let's see as we go how many words we are actually creating. Although I personally don't think having more words is necessarily better. We have 367 words so far. Let's see. Looks like we have another good bit of content right here. Seems to be ranked, seems to be still going to different um, internal links, which is nice. Continue. So at the end of this, it looks like we're going to have a 1000 word article, but the point of this is that it's a little bit more uh, formatted than if you were doing this yourself and you don't necessarily know that much about the process, which a lot of people who watch my videos don't necessarily know that much about the process. So I really, really wanted to make something that would kind of do the process for people. And I think, I've, I think I've nailed it, honestly. I'm really, really happy with the results here. You can see it's got internal links, it's got um, titles, it's got lists, it's got tables, it's got everything that I recommend people have in their articles. Let's see how many words we're at. 672, it looks like, unless this final part is a little bit longer, which it's not, we're going to have about 1,000 words, which for me is the sweet spot. I do like 1,000 word articles. You could put this into five parts if you wanted to have a little bit more content. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that though, to be fair. And then it looks like there's going to be some random internal links here, but that's fine. You can remove internal links pretty easily, to be honest with you. Overall, 945 words, really good formatting, lots of tables, lots of good stuff in there. So yeah, that's actually going to be the end of this video. To use this, all you need to do is go on your custom instructions. I will put this in the description. All you have to do is you can either say hi to start it and it will say, hello, how can I assist you today? And then you can say black tie attire for men or business casual uh, attire for men. And then you can run through the whole process and it will do everything for you, including all the SEO research, all of the tables, all the formatting and all the internal links. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.